Welcome back, everybody. Uh, after a little break that we took for the last two weeks, welcome back to our humble little show that we call Plane Talk Live here on Aviation on the Radar channel. It's good to be back with everybody. I uh, last week took a few days just to get a little R and R and get some rest and relaxation, and and yeah, it was it was good. It was good. It was much needed, and uh, happy to be back with everybody. And we want to welcome everybody back to the show tonight. And uh, let's, uh, we got our uh, awesome moderator, Lady Cat, uh, patrolling the chat this evening. Uh, Mr. MJ Scanlon is with us. Kitty B is with us. Hello, Kitty B. Good to see you. Glad you are here with us. Uh, the one and only Greg Hybers is with us. Hello, Greg. Good to see you. And uh, Sue Major's here. Hello, Sue Major. Glad to see you, friend. And uh, yeah, I'm sure we'll have more coming in as usual. And yeah, glad to see everybody. Let's bring in our co-host Sal and Michael. Good evening, guys. How you doing? Good morning. Good afternoon. I'm doing good. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good. Good. How you guys been doing? Doing good. Good. Very doing well. Good. 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 All right. <laughs> All right. Well, um, and uh, yeah, like I also I will welcome uh, everybody back and yeah it's good to be back uh, how you guys been doing pretty good the last few weeks i suppose yeah i, I mean, mean i already asked that question i'm a little <laughs> out of sync tonight <laughs> but hey, man, it's, it's, uh, it's good to be back uh if you notice a little different setup here i uh i am actually uh doing the show from my office at work uh this is where i did the show a couple months ago with captain paul and uh but a little different setup i'm actually sitting at my desk very simple setup um, usually when I at home, it takes me a couple hours to set up cause I do a green screen and bunch of different stuff. So, um, I needed to work as much as I could today. And this literally took me like 20 minutes to set up. So I wanted to just work as long as I could and, and do the show from here. So yeah, it's, uh, but it's good to be back. So let's get into a little bit of news. We, uh, I know there's like tons of news that we can, um, follow yeah. up one but i just want to touch on a few things just really quick and um as you guys know we've been following this boeing situation uh for what's it been over a month now and it all started at sfo with the wheel falling off the plane but and they've just had more and more incidents happen but um now there's a i think michael you sent me the link there is a video yeah. on i believe it's youtube that's circulating of a whistleblower about problems with the 787 and uh yeah did you watch that video michael yeah it's uh, a little concerning yeah um i didn't get to see it if you could just give me a give us a quick recap yeah they were Look, saying we're not, that. hold on real quick we're not saying this to scare anybody off yeah. but or to even talk badly boeing but the reason we're talking about this is just to try to help inform everybody so michael what did you know? um, basically they said that there was issues with some of the like the parts like of the plane that were put together i don't know if it was the actual like uh, the welding or what uh, they said that there was possibly an issue with that that's basically it they didn't specify anything more um they're just that person just said that so we don't know for sure anything yet uh, of course um and we don't know if that's widespread or that was a you know one issue for that in general I, i'm not sure they didn't really specify much uh -huh. Did you happen to catch that video, so? No. <laughs> no, I didn't either. So I, I need yeah. to catch up on it. But Michael had shared it with me. I think it was yesterday, the day before. Yeah, yesterday, yeah. So if anybody wants to see it, just look up um, whistleblower 
Boeing 787 on yeah, YouTube in the fun. search. And I think it came out within the last three or four days. So, yeah, it's on News Channel. I was on. Yep. Some, so, so. Uh, you know, of course, we, it's somebody, you know, take it with a grain of salt, but just at least we know it's kind of going on out there. And then the second thing that is fact is that, uh, you know, Alaska had grounded all their Max 9s because of the, the door plug incident. Well, Boeing paid Alaska Air, to check this out, $160 million for the lost revenue by uh, grounding those planes. I mean, that that's a lot of bread. Yeah, that's a lot. What do you think of that, Sal? I mean, that's a lot of money. <laughs> Sal? Oh, sorry. Like, um, <laughs> it's cutting out. Are you going to sleep? Out, so I couldn't hear. <laughs> he's, like, he's like nodding off. Yeah. I hear, I hear like Boeing, and then and then you said Sal. It just froze over here. Oh, okay. Well, so, so um, Boeing paid Alaska one hundred and sixty million dollars to help them make up for lost revenue when they grounded all the Max Nines. That's a lot of money. What do you what do you think about that? Well, I'm pretty sure it was in their contract. You know. Uh, I'm pretty sure they have a they have a contract when they buy the planes that if anything happens to the plane, um, well, that's technically in warranty that they would get some reimbursements. So maybe that, I think that's what happened. Um, kind of like the deal that they worked out with uh, Southwest that they would pay them money if if yeah. the the max was delayed. So yeah, Michael. Um, yeah, I'm same thing that Sal said basically. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's just some kind of a deal that they made. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. it's a big number though. So, I, you know, it's got. Yeah, to and I'm but, sure it's in their contract. But yeah, I mean, there was a lot of Max Nines, so I'm not I mean, I mean, I can only imagine what's in those contracts. I mean, yeah, it's just not like one piece of paper. I mean, geez, it's no. probably yeah. <laughs> hundreds or even probably hundreds of pages, maybe even thousands. Who knows? Oh yeah, easily. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, um, and uh, on a oh, excuse me, my voice lately has been kind of crashing out on me but it's fine we'll make it through hello brenda Salmi. good to have you with us tonight hello. and then one last um section hello section good to see you hey. uh one last uh, bit of news which is actually uh onto some good news um check this out korean air has made an order for 27 airbus a350 1000s and also six A350 900s and uh, came across this photo and I've never really cared for Korean Air's livery, but you know what? It looks pretty dang good on this A350. What do you think, Michael? What uh, what doesn't look good in an A350, dude? Well, that's you know, that one actually looks, looks really good. I, I think that looks better than the 380, personally. No offense to the 380, but uh, I like this look better. Uh -huh. it's, it's longer and sleeker. Um, well, what do you think, Sal? Um, I'm sad that they ordered those, but you know, because they, they plan to retire the A380s and replace them with the A350s. Oh, okay, but I like the fact that you know, the wingtips kind of they pulled off whatever Japan Air Airlines did where they blended like red oh, on the wingtips. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see that. This one's blue, uh -huh. so they kind of they tried to do something like Japan Airlines, yeah, and it looks like blue and it looks like it might even have their um logo on there. Yes. yes, a little, um, the what do they call that? Does, the yeah. Ring? yeah, but, um, yeah, I, like I said, I normally don't care for their blue, but I think it looks, you know, pretty good on the A350. I like, like all blue. Said, I'm not, it always it. looks anything <laughs> like good on the 350. Wondering what, uh, in the chat, what everybody else's uh, opinion is of this, uh, these, uh, Korean A350s that are coming out there. I think they're, they're going to be nice. Mm -hmm. So let us, yeah, let us know in the chat what y'all think. I need a little blue flag to raise up whenever we show a blue plane. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. Right on, right on. All right. Well, we're going to, um, you know, we've been doing a, um, man, it's getting cold in here. I had to turn the air conditioner off. It gets I cold know, in my office. It, it, it was like almost 90 degrees outside here today. Nice weather. But anyways, uh, moving on. Uh, as some, you know, everybody knows that, you know, follows uh, the show regularly that, uh, we've been doing a segment on model airplanes. Well, tonight we have a segment on mo a couple model airports. Yeah. And uh, this is awesome. So I, I met a gentleman named Andy Payne at the SFO uh, Airline Collectible Show when I was there last month. And Andy lives locally here in the San Francisco Bay Area. We got to talking. 
a mutual friend introduced us to each other and um, we belong to a local spotters email group. And um, so he told me about these model airports and he was actually going to bring one to the show, but he wasn't able to. So we exchanged email addresses and he sent me some photos of some of the airports he has built and said, Hey, if you would love to show them on your show, that'd be great. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me. So, uh, I want, I want to share a couple of these real quick. I mean, these are really cool. So this first, uh, hello everybody that's come in, Aussie Pete and a couple others. This first airport is SFO, uh, roughly from 1937 to 1947. Wow. And, um, this is kind of just a wide shot of what he built. And I mean, the detail is just awesome. We'll get a little, um, sorry, get a little closer look. And it, this is just fantastic. I mean, this is just awesome. I mean, all the way down to the die cast. What is that? A DC three. That's really cool. Um, and I mean, it's just so awesome the, the way he built this and we'll go back to the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the other picture. I mean, building Spanish style too. It's like it looks like the missions. Yep, that's how it was back then. Yeah. And you yeah, can. That, that looks like it would be in a at a, uh, at a museum. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. Yeah. Pretty cool. And um, the hangar, you know, over to the left, and um, this display. I mean, it just. I mean, just looking at the pictures, this really blows me away. And um, yeah, and here's one more. This is um, that's Andy in the picture. This um, particular layout is what sfo looked like in the mid 90s and wow. all i could say is it is spot on i mean oh my goodness it is just i mean wow wow yeah okay. it's just so awesome and um yeah so i'm hoping at the next show in september he's able to bring one what year is uh, this this one uh this was at the sfo sfo collectible show this photo i believe was taken in 2018 um, he was supposed to bring one of these. It, it takes him, you know, he'll have to, he comes the night before and sets it up. Yeah. Uh, he wasn't able to do it at this last show last month, but, um, but hopefully at the next show in September, he'll be able to um, bring one of his airports. So yeah, I, I mean, this is super cool. And I have a few more that he sent me that we will um, all bring those uh, on the show the next time we are live. I mean, what does everybody think of these? I mean, man, I mean, Sal, what, what's your thoughts on, on these airports that he's built? Those they're pretty, they're pretty cool. Very, like very good attention to detail. And then, um, uh, yeah, I don't know. That's takes, takes a lot of time to build something like that. Mm -hmm. It looks like that. So yeah, props to him. Yeah. Michael, what's your thoughts on Andy's, uh, airports? That's really cool, man. Um, I like, I always like model trains. Um, there was a place, uh, over by where I live, there was like a, a railroad museum and they had model trains. So it kind of reminded me of that. But it's pretty, it's more detailed though, I think, than the than the train models. Cause as you can see, like on the, some of the terminals, like the little windows are like tiny and stuff. So to make this is like, I don't know how long it would take, months. Yeah. Probably. I, um, on the photos, when I was setting this up, I kind of like zoomed into them. Yeah, um, and I the attention to detail is just each terminal is different too, right? I mean, there's like on the one on the towards the bottom side is like a circle. The other one's like a maybe like a hexagon shape to the right, and then it yep. just looks. And that, that's how and that's how SFO was, you know, back about thirty years ago. They're all different. Look, mm -hmm. each each building mm -hmm. looks different. That's, that's how they were. Yeah, and some of them still are. Well, LAX um, is probably the same. I'm assuming. Yep. But. So I mean, the attention to detail was just wow. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to thank Andy for sending these in and uh, yeah, we will show some more uh, on our next um, show. So MJ had a comment a bit Dude. ago. I'm to scroll up. Hold on. I'm sorry. He I said hope. the new liveries. Sorry. So um, have you, have you guys seen any of the new FedEx plane planer liveries? So more plain looking, not the world, not the world on time. No express, no engine logos. I didn't even know there was a new livery. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't aware either, but yeah. Wow. Apparently. Um, uh, MJ, when that. did when did this uh when did uh the livery start coming out let us know in the chat section that, that guy made the airport yeah he built the model right yes that was him in the last photo that was andy super super nice gentleman so so yeah mj i sent you a copy in your email okay um i will have to go back and look at that i'm not sure if you sent that a while back or not i've been 
uh, last few weeks have been busy or taking time off, staying away from the computer and phone. So, all right. Thanks, MJ. Appreciate that. And uh, we will get a look at that. And uh, yeah, keep our eyes out for the new uh, FedEx livery that's going out. Sal, mm -hmm. you got a Bucky's Beaver above you. I just saw that. Oh, <laughs> I was yeah. like, what is that? Is that Bucky's? I, I wonder who was going to notice it first. <laughs> <laughs> I was oh, like, what is that? Yeah. Thing about, man? <laughs> right there. <laughs> there you go. Hey, where's the Beaver Nuggets? <laughs> I know, right? right? They're, oh, you know. Um, They're melted. Yeah, Beaver Nuggets. <laughs> They're in your stomach already, huh? They're like they, you yeah, know, you know. Could I, dude, Did you try their like brisket? Chilled. With caramel. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. Did you try their brisket? Or their, like, their food? <laughs> their food's really good. The, the hot food? Yeah. My, yeah. Cousin, yeah. my cousin lives in Austin, and he came out last summer, almost mm -hmm. a year ago. And he brought me a ba uh, two bags of the beaver, beaver nuggets. Oh, my gosh. Those things could be what so is, good. What is that? It's like pecan. Pecan. Uh, they reminded me of, like... Of like Cheeto Puffs, but instead of having cheese, they had caramel. That's what it reminded me of. Oh, they reminded me of a okay. corn pop cereal with like oh, corn caramel pops. on them. That's what they remind oh, me of. I like corn pops. Mm. But, little, but like bigger than the corn pop a little bigger. That's what wow. they, right. they remind me of. They're so um, good and addicting. They melt for sure. <laughs> so we'll go in from beaver. <laughs> let's go from beaver nuggets to, to flight tracking. So okay. <laughs> All right, everybody. It's that <laughs> time of the evening. Going from uh, sugary <laughs> snacks that aren't good for us to do some plane tracking. So um, let me go over the guidelines since it's been a couple weeks. And uh, for flight tracking while Michael gets prepared to uh, take down your request. Section. So me... section oh, sorry. Let me hold on. Hold on. I'll, no, I'll let you read it and I'll tell section what I was going to tell him. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say, you know how he, he says that they're getting a, a one next year. Or when they're, getting, they're getting one in the Phoenix area. I saw a billboard outside of Tucson that said the next Bucky's was 951 miles away. Oh, a billboard, man. big old billboard. Wow. <laughs> I'm there's talking. Nothing, I'm thinking that they're, they're talking about the one in Denver, but there's none over here, yeah. right? There's nothing. There's nothing in Arizona, or no? No. Nope. Nothing out no, here. Really Denver and Texas, and that in, the, in that area. Yep. In All Tennessee right. Tennessee and Oklahoma. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can't wait to go to one someday. So right. going from Bucky's to flight tracking. I got paper, so. All right, got paper, pen, pencil, paper, whatever, whatever it takes to get the job. Michael gets the job done. All right, just uh, we'll go over our guidelines. Uh, one request per person at a time. And then you uh, can make your next request after your previous request has been tracked. And tonight we're going to stick with a maximum of three requests per person. And let's be patient and have some fun. All righty. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. And um, I'm not sure if we have any coming in yet, but oh, yeah, we have a few. I see a few. Uh, we'll let yeah. uh, Michael get those ready. I will go ahead and set up the screen share. I have dual monitors tonight. So this is going to right, be there you go. hopefully a little easier on me. Oh, you're doing it with one monitor normally? I didn't realize. I normally have one monitor at home. Oh, that's why we could sometimes you forget to switch it out. Okay. Yep. Makes so sense. so now I, I have it on two monitors. You should see, this and of course fancy. I have, of course I have SFO uh, up on the screen first. Uh, my local, well, one of my local airports, and it looks like uh, Emirates is about to uh, depart. Ooh. Uh, they're, they're a little late. Looks like they're in about fifty, a little over fifteen minutes late. They're scheduled at five oh five. It's five what five twenty two here. Um, but yeah, that's the daily A380 out of SFO to Dubai. And um, yeah. Uh, Aussie Pete, which uh, app are you asking about? Uh, if you put it in the chat, we'll try to answer your question for you. Um, let's see what else is while Michael's getting down, uh, writing down a few of your requests. Let's see what else is going on at SFO. That's the orange mm -hmm. pride at LAX today. <laughs> Uh, let's see, British, uh, 777 just arrived from London. The A380 just left about, I think like 30 or 40 minutes ago. So, um, I was, uh, looking at that before the show started tonight, today, it's still daytime outside. It doesn't get dark till eight o'clock here. Um, what else is going on at SFO? Uh, How many terminals is it? Five? Six? Uh, five or six. Yeah. There's, yeah. Here is uh, Mr. Yin's A350. Okay. Um, oh, is that the one that he requested? 
<laughs> you requested CX eight seven two. Is that it? That's eight nine two. Okay, so okay. so that's uh this one's uh, not scheduled for a couple hours, but the transponder's on, or did it just land? L closed right now. Oh, so this one just landed uh, a few minutes ago from Hong Kong. So, yeah. All, All right. righty. We can sort it out there. Uh, board. Yeah, that's right, board. It was about an hour ago. You're right. It was an hour ago. I was a little off on my time. All right, Michael. Whenever you're ready, I think I am. Uh, first one. We got Lady Cat. All righty. November three three zero, uh, Foxtrot Romeo. All right, We've got some frontier action going here. I believe this might uh, Junior the Lynx, the one that this one always baffles me. So where is this plane? It's in Orlando right now. Um, yeah, this is the one the Lynx, but is this the one that looks more like a? Um, Yeah, this one does look like a Lynx. Oh, how do I share this? Oh, okay, you can see it. Oh, great. Um, yeah, which one is it? The one that doesn't look like what it says it is. I forget, but anyways. Not the Lynx. But this is Junior the Lynx, and um, yeah, I like I like all the frontier animals. They're just a whole nother beast. <laughs> I want my whole row, man. <laughs> you want your, whole, your first. I want my I want my whole row on the way to Vegas just to like lay down for like thirty minutes. Oh yeah, that's right. We <laughs> talked about that. That that was a rare version of first class. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna just yeah. do it for like an hour flight just for fun. <laughs> yep. So, anyways, this plane is in uh, Orlando. They have their transponder on, but doesn't say where they're coming or going. But um, yeah, Lady Cat, thank you so much for the. Karen's here. Hi, Karen. Karen Hello, Monson. Karen Monson. Good to see you, friend. Glad you can join us this evening. Yep. All, All right. right. What do we got next, Michael? Next, um, we got MJ. Uh, we got... All right. Uh, I always forget M. M is me. Mike. <laughs> Alpha um, Tango 034. M-A-T-034? Um, I believe so. Yeah, let me double check. Mike Alpha Tango 034? Yeah, let me see. I mean, maybe I wrote that wrong. Oh, I'm sorry. Juliet Alpha Tango. Sorry. There we go. Oh, what yeah. do we got here? <laughs> All right, MJ throwing us a curve. Oh, this is, is oh. this is a Jet Smart special uh, going from Santiago, Chile to Kalama, which Where's Kalama? Is that probably in Chile as well? Chile. Yeah. Uh, looks like it, yeah. And uh, uh, let's get a closer look at this plane. It's a special over, yeah. It is a special livery. It is the oh, cool. ooh, it is the that. Sun Conor livery, oh, and um, cool oh yeah, it has a parrot on it. It's it's I a like Sun Conor. Okay, look at the registration C C D I E. That's not a very good registration. <laughs> Silly, C -C -I. right? Die, <laughs> die. I know, right? Yeah, that's not a cool registration. But here's the uh, photographer's name is Bruno Orofino. And as I always say, thank you for letting us use a photo, and please don't sue me. But um, I kind of like this livery. Um, I always like red, white, and blue for some reason. Yeah, I, I, I dig the, the engine, too. I was just going to say. It's uh, it's not Euro white, that's for sure. Because yep. Euro white doesn't have much going on. Yep. And I like, uh, I think the, that's a parrot on the back, correct? Uh, yeah. It's a, it it's a Sun Conyer. I used to have one. Oh, really? Is yes. that the bird, Sun Conyer? Are they a type of parrot or what? Yeah. The, they're they, like the type of parrot that had one, dude. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Do they that speak? are green and yellow and nice. orange sometimes? What color do is they, uh, Sal, do they talk? Um, no, but they scream really loud. <laughs> oh <laughs> so my god, scares you at night, middle of the night. Just Imagine, scream. yeah. <laughs> the name of it, the like one that I had was his name, the, the, the parrot's name was Pickles. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> yeah. really? Because it was green. Because it was instead of having like all the colors, yeah, it was just green. Oh my gosh! Yeah, oh, I can imagine getting oh, the that. Night that yeah. screaming. <laughs> all righty, thank you, MJ. Uh, okay, uh, righty. What do we have? Or monkey? Which say, one? Uh, Why is there two of them? Speaking parrot. Uh, if Michael had one, he'd probably teach it a lot of words that were bad. <laughs> <laughs> you mean you mean number one? Word yeah, number one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We uh, Michael sent me real quick while well, he's uh, writing those down. Sent me an Instagram video about the top ten. Um, like slang words in Spanish, and number one, I'm just gonna say it. I mean, it's, 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 it's a word called pendejo, which means like stupid. 
And I always call Michael and Sal, I call them pendejos all the time. So last few days I've been calling Michael, what's up, number one? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah. It's all in fun. I don't mean it. I yeah. just call these guys pendejos because, well, I can. So, all right, what's next, Michael? <laughs> I'm going to be like, you're making me hungry, dude. I want a hamburger. Number and uh, Sal, if you want to jump in with one here, we'll uh, let you cut yeah. in line. Yeah. All right, Michael, who's next and what do they uh, got? Next is uh, Yins, uh, the one that he always does. Uh, all uh, right, Yin, Charlie, what's up, buddy? Charlie X Ray 872. CX872. Yeah. Okay, that's two. There's uh, one going and there's one coming back, right? This is the one yep. going. This is the one uh, oh, coming, back. One coming in as well. Okay. And this is, uh, yeah, this is a Cathay Pacific A350 900 headed from Hong Kong to SFO. And yeah, they've got, ooh, they've still got four hours. They're out over the Pacific at the tip of Alaska. Wow. And I think, Yin, you're going to Hong Kong next month, if I remember right, on Cathay Pacific. So, um, hey, Yin, are you going? Let us know in the chat. Are you going on the A350? Uh, let us know in the chat. What else and, they um, fly in San Francisco? Is that 777 or what? What's that? What else they fly? A 777? Uh, not Dreamliner, I don't think. I think they've been flying the 350s lately. Um, yeah. I, mean, I've, I haven't seen it. Well, I haven't been there lately, but. Watching Sal stream and others, uh, all I've pretty much have seen is A350 lately. Sal should know, right? Do they do anything else besides 350 for Cathay? That yeah, they have it. 777 300s. I know they fly oh, those in the right. LAX, if I yeah, remember that right. One. That one. So SFO, just 350. Yeah. The 300ER is the LAX. Okay. And LAX is the 777 300ER. Yes. Yep. 777 and the 350. Oh, the, okay. All right. Yen, buddy, thank you so much. And uh, yeah, right. hope you have a great time. Well, we're going to keep going. Uh, if Sal has one, we could throw it in right now. Uh, I'm I have trying to find one. Okay, well, let's go to the next person. Uh, Greg, Greg Hybris. All right, Greg, what's up? I hope up? I wrote this down right. Uh, Alpha, let's see, is that a P or a D? Try you Alpha Papa. This, this number one can't even read his own writing. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's either a P or a D, but I think it's a P. Alpha Papa Kilo 752. Yeah, I know my, my writing's bad. Everything's typed, man. All right. This was Typing Greg Hybers. Ooh, what do we have here? We have. That must be it. What is this? Air piece? Oh, I've never seen that before. What is it? Oh, my gosh, Greg. This is uh, out of Nigeria. Okay. Ooh. Wow. What kind of That's a 777. Uh, this is a 777-300. Not ER, yeah. Oh, it's not an ER. Yeah, Ooh, there's not that's many different. of those around. Oh, that's rare. And um, so this is headed to Jeddah, which is, is that Saudi Arabia? Yeah, Saudi Arabia. Yeah, let's get a closer look at this plane. I don't believe we've ever seen this one before. Yeah, Yen's taking the A350. He says. Right on, Yen. All right. This is an interesting livery. Hmm. Some more red, white, and blue. Um, it has a name on the front, which I'm not sure what that means, but. I'm sure it has a lot of meaning to the people of Nigeria. Let's see if we can get a shot of this from a side view. Um, here's one right here. Here we go. Ooh, that looks kind of uh, interesting at night. That's different, yeah. It is different. The font for air piece is definitely like from the 90s, early 2000s. That's all the... um, yeah, so cool. Hey, Greg, thanks for this one, man. This is an interesting one. And uh, real quick, it still has almost four hours to go to Jetta. And let's, the plane's only 19 years old, not not too old. So, yeah. All righty, what do we have next? Okay. Um, so, I'll let me know when you're ready. But uh, next is section. We have uh, N2, uh, Nancy, I'm sorry, November 249, Brava Alpha. November 249, Brava Alpha. Alpha? Alpha. Yeah. I know. I said, Alpha. Bravo, Alpha. I said Alpha. Bravo. I said Bravo Alpha. Sorry. Oh, look at this. I'm coaster. This is the oh, that's Boeing Dreamlifter. Dream Dreamlifter. Dream mm -hmm. Okay. So this thing is going from Payne Field in Washington State going down to Charleston, South Carolina. Uh, I bet this Dreamlifter is uh, either taking parts for a Dreamliner or... Yeah, I bet that's what it's doing. It's got to be because I think they're building 
the seven eight sevens down in Charleston now. Are they? Yep, that's where they're being delivered from, as far as I know. So, but yeah, this thing's got about thirty eight minutes to go in Charleston, and you know what? I've always wondered how old the Dreamlifter is. It's thirty four wow. years old. Wow, no way. I didn't think it was that old. Wow, that's old. That's a little on the old side. But where is it now? It is over. Oh boy, it's over. That's too major. Hello. It's like it's over northern Georgia right now. So yeah. All right. But yeah, I've always wondered how old that thing was. So now we know. Yeah, I want to go to Everett Field, dude. You, you can't. You can't go in there as public, huh? Yeah, MJ says they are assembled at Charleston. Thank you. That's what I thought. Thank you, uh, MJ. I had been kind of wondering about that. So. Steve, you're gonna have to send us that picture of that blank FedEx dude. I'm like in my mind, I'm like wondering what it looks like still. <laughs> okay, I'll have to dig through the emails that Greg yeah, sure. sent me. All right. Uh, okay, next we got um Board Monkey. All um, right, hello, Mr. Board Monkey. Okay. Um Charlie Foxtrot Charlie 3306. Oh, Canadian Royal. Oh, ooh. Air ooh, Force. This is a all righty. This is a good one. Interesting. Oh, so this is a Royal Canadian Air Force uh, A310. Oh my gosh, there are not many of those left. And uh, where is it right now? Let's see. It is over Canada. Um, we're at over Canada. Maybe Greg can help us with this area. Um, so so I'm cut line. WK two. Uh, um, there's, I guess, flight radar and jet photos only have a. Uh, generic photo of it wow oh mj sent you an email today so you can actually show oh it. okay all righty thank you mj maybe towards the end of the show i'll yeah. try to see if i could pull it up and show everybody but yeah this uh this is wow this plane's 36 years old wow what what is that there's 737 oh it's airbus airbus a310 i mean there's not many of these left. it says polaris or something doesn't it mm. Uh, well, that's I just what say CC, whatever. What's up? Yeah, I don't know, but it's a model of a 310. It's okay. generally an A310, yeah. So, that's all righty. 40 years old, A310. It says it's uh, 36 years old, uh, delivered yeah. in October of 1987. Yeah, 87. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, MJ, wait, I want to see this. His comment uh, is I oh, I'm not an A310. I'm scared. They were job security, though, for us as mechanics. <laughs> hey, man, you gotta, gotta have that job security. <laughs> all righty thank you so much okay what do we have uh, next, Michael? Uh, hold on man i'm i'm i have to look at the youtube because the chat flies too fast on the on this app so give me one second okay no problem i have oh next in line oh we, we did board monkey right so we'll do sal's next um, all right you have yes, one Sal? Uh, um yeah yes i, mean, I have all it right, right uh whiskey uh kilo two two nice and easy oh I don't know what that is, but whiskey kilo two two. Was that kilo, not Q? K. Oh, you put question or whatever Q is. I put Q. Yeah. Oh, here we I go. Back, Edelweiss. Oh. Oh, uh, dude, I had an Edelweiss. Is that a special one? This oh, is no. the Edelweiss A three forty three hundred. A special one. That's cool. Going from Puerto Plata to Montego Bay. Ooh. Short you, know what, uh, you know what Edelweiss always remind me of because it has like W E I S in it, uh -huh. and, and the color always remind me a little bit of a Budweiser can <laughs> from back <laughs> in the day, <laughs> from like years ago. But anyways, uh, that's just my craziness. So how far? <laughs> what in the world? This is a short flight. Yeah, this is like, like it was weird. Fifteen yeah, minutes. Pretty short. Yeah. It's going from the Dominican Republic to. Uh, yeah. Jamaica. That. It's a sunny, nice flight. Whoa, oh, that God. is a God. short <laughs> flight. Wow. Oh, dude, I got a cool one. Flight I, got a cool red I mean, I mean, is it a char charter? Is it a regular schedule? Or wow, that is interesting. Let me let me check that one second. All right, he's gonna check that. We'll say hello to a few people. Uh, hello, cats meow. Good to have you here. Can we do one of mine on my list? I'm looking at my list. Right uh, hold on, number one. Um, okay. Cats Meow is here. Glad to have her here. It is. It is a regular scheduled flight. Okay. Uh, flight, not. Wait. Never mind. Not. Hold on. Hold on. 
Uh, Lady no, Cow. it's weird. R, R rated. Because I said, oh, <laughs> section. Yeah, it does kind of look like a, a old bud can. That's what it always reminded me of an old butt can. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it, yeah. Hello, random aircraft videos. Good to have you Hello. with us. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, not, not regular scheduled flight. Never mind. Oh, so maybe might, it is a charter or something. Might be a charter or yeah. relocation. I don't know. Yeah, interesting, interesting. All right, Michael, if you have one, go ahead. Okay, um, I'm going to skip MJ because he already got one. So I'm going to go to Captain Airbus. Okay. Um, we have a Nancy. I mean, November 2 2. Uh, is this an O? I think whatever O is. Um, Oscar uniform alpha, I think. Oh, okay. This is going to be uh, a United flight. United. Uh, United starts with N. I thought that was Southwest. Uh, all the, the N, um, I, think, I think they're going by the registration on the flight. Yeah, yes. all the N liveries are U.S. airlines, right? Yeah, all right. N are U.S. Yeah. That's what um, but yeah, uh, hopefully this is the right, um, correct one. I hope so. Uh, this is a triple seven two hundred ER going from Denver to Kona, Hawaii, and it is over the Pacific. If not, oh, try zero uniform alpha. Oh wait, no, hold on, hold on. Where did this? So check it out. Um, speaking, of a lot of these uh, flights going from like Denver, Phoenix, wherever, going like down to the Hawaiian Islands. Um, for those who don't know me. Uh, on the on this, uh, you can see right here on flight radar, this town called Gilroy right here. Uh, getting a little closer. I live in this That's town. Not, I've never been there. Yeah, you've never, <laughs> you've never, you guys have never been here. Garlic. Garlic. They have, it's a bunch they have of garlic, garlic ice there. cream. Yeah. So, anyways, um, yesterday morning we had a lot of flights from. Uh, we had a couple of. Uh, so I was on my way to work. There's a couple of flights from Las Vegas. They were Southwest Max flights. And then I think I saw a Denver flight. Yeah. And um, they were all coming over, and so they must the ATC must have been routing them like right over us. So this was pretty close. But getting back to this flight, uh, it's us four hours ago over the Pacific Ocean down to Kona, and yeah, twenty two year old triple seven two hundred ER. All right, all righty. Thank you for that one. Uh, appreciate okay. it. <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> okay. What else okay. we got? Got a. Uh... <clears throat> Excuse me. Random aircraft. Okay. Um, not sure if this is correct, but uh, Lima Alpha 842. Oh, Latam Airlines. All righty. What do we got here? Ooh, Latam uh, 787-9 Dreamliner. Dreamliner. Oh, my gosh. Dreamliner. Like or as our... <laughs> As uh, our uh, chat moderator, Lady Cat, would call it a dream weaver. What's a Mataveri? Where's that? Yeah, where's Mataveri? Check the route. Um, let's check the route. Oh, it's it, like it's an, an island. island off of uh, South America. Uh, in the way Pacific. farther than Galapagos. Yep. So it's going to Santiago, Chile. It's about, let's see, three, uh, three. It's about a four hour flight is what it looks like. Island, like Hawaiian island, right? Mataveri. Let's see. I'm sorry, Sal. Go ahead. That looks like Easter Island, no? Oh, it could be. Uh, let me zoom in on it. Let's yeah, zoom. Isla de Pascua Airport, most remote airport in the world. Yeah, it's got to be. East. Oh, it is Easter Island. Yeah, he's right. Does this, is that what that Pascua means, Easter? Yeah, yes. so you know the statues, the random like mythical stone oh. statues. Yeah, that's on that. Dang, island. I'm half Mexican, and I don't even. Well, I know this isn't Mexican. <laughs> Never mind. Let's just keep going. Dude, that's a. <laughs> that's I don't, a I don't even know what Pascua <laughs> means. Jeez. <laughs> oh, Pascua. right. Pascha in Greek. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. All Same right. Thing. Thank you for All that. Right. One. Uh, and uh, let's see what's up next. Hold on. There's uh, a message here from Board Monkey. Okay. I'm coming down there on Saturday. Not Gary, but San Jose. Ooh, oh, so close. What? Guess what? On Saturday, I get to work. <laughs> I'm working. <laughs> oh, no. That's right. I'm working a special it, event with our fire. It's going to rain. Well, I'm working an indoor event with our fire department. So, um, it's always it's always a uh, an honor to help work with our local fire and police yeah, whenever sure. they have events at our um, facility. So, anyways, but yeah, all righty, board monkey will enjoy San Jose. Oh, Matter yeah. of fact, I'll be there tomorrow. Not at the airport, but for doctor's appointment. Okay, well, we did aircraft. We'll get a. Uh, we'll, all right. We'll do 
We'll do MJ's second, MJ's second one. Okay, Mr. Uh, MJ Scanlon is up next. He always has good ones. Um, we got, yep. uh, let's see, what does this say? If I can read my writing again. Sierra, Ig India, um, Delta, 9304. All right, hit me with that one more time. I had something in the Sierra, chat. Sorry, Sierra, India, Delta, 9304, I think. Oh. Uh, yeah, there's something live. Linea, Linea's with an H. That's a Portuguese something. Yeah, what is this? What did MJ oh, give us? Brazilian thing. He gave it. Ooh, okay. So this is out of Brazil. Uh, so it was Portuguese. Ciro Linhas Rias. Linhas. Linhas is lin like Linhas, like like airline. Okay. I don't know, I don't know what yeah, C that means, but yeah. okay. This is an old seven three seven. 300 that looks like it was converted into a freighter. We'll get a closer EDSF look. is freighter, right? Yeah. It's a freighter. Ooh, nice. That's yeah, that's an old one. Wow, that's a cool one. MJ, where do you find this stuff, dude? This is interesting. I don't know where it is. I, I love I love it like when MJ gives us stuff like yeah. that, or or even um, you know, sometimes uh, John or um, Alvinor come in and give us 300 a even stuff, yeah. So yeah, 300 uh, freighter. Wow. Talk about a simple livery. <laughs> but what is that on the back? Is that a um, skunk? <laughs> I don't, I don't, I'm not sure, actually. <laughs> is it a skunk? It's what is a it? weird looking. looks like a Pokemon or something. <laughs> yeah. Come, Jay, do you know what that is on the rudder? <laughs> Some kind of a bird or something. I'm not drinking Gatorade. I'm drinking water tonight because it's good for you. Yeah, you water. Water to cry lately. It's all good. All right, MJ, thank you for that submission. We appreciate it. Okay. Uh, what's up next? Okay, next um, we got, um, I don't know if this is a new person or not, Brenda Salmi. And then oh, if Brenda, I think Brenda's been here before. Okay. I think All right, well, Brenda, Brenda. If, if I'm correct, Brenda, aren't you Scott's wife, section's wife, right? Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Well, I think mind. so. <laughs> okay. I That's hope I'm right. If I'm not, I apologize, but I'm pretty Someone sure I'm was. right. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right, All right. Uh, we got a Juliet Alpha 383 Alpha. Juliet yes, Alpha indeed. 383 okay. Alpha. Oh, 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 some Hanu action here. All right, we have, yep, I was right, Mrs. Section. Thank you, Greg. Okay, cool. Whew, I'm glad I got that right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've got one of the Hanu, uh, all Napon, all Napon, Sal, all Napon. On the phone. <laughs> so this is, this is the orange tree. And um, this is uh, one of the 380s that they only fly between Honolulu and Tokyo. Yeah. And this one left Honolulu about two hours ago, has a little over six hours left. And and um, this is a young 380. It's only four years old. Wow. Go spend like three nights in Hawaii and then, and then go to Narita. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? This is the orange one. I kind of like the blue or the teal one a little better, but these are still like really, really unique um, liveries on these 380s. Fly that thing from Hawaii and then fly JAL back. What? So I think I've shared this before. I would, I, what I would do is I would fly um, United Hawaiian. To Hawaii. <laughs> no. So here's what I would do. I'd fly Hawaiian from San Jose or San Francisco to Honolulu. Then I would take one of these ANA 380s to Tokyo. And then I would take uh, Zippy back to San Jose oh, Zippy. or okay. San Francisco. Right. Yeah, that'd be kind of yes. a fun trip. Yeah, so that'd be interesting. that would be a pretty fun trip. Yeah. All right. Uh, this is from Mrs. Section. Thank you so much. And yeah, this thing's out over the Pacific. Ooh, it's got a ways to go. Yeah. A little over six hours. Hold on. All righty. I think we're good. Okay. What's up next? Uh, yeah, I'm just saying if I miss. No, I didn't miss anything. MJ. Nippon, <laughs> yep, all Nippon. <laughs> or something after Breaker, but that's down there. Okay. Um. Anyways. Oh wait. Oh, that's the one I missed. Greg Cubers. Okay. okay. Right. Uh, next we got card. um. We did Brenda, right? Okay. Yes, we did. So section. Um. That's Mr. Section. Not the right. same. Not the same one, but uh -huh. um. Juliet Alpha three eight one Alpha instead of three. Eight one Alpha. Oh. Ah, this is the other one. The other one, yeah. <laughs> is, and where is this one? Same. Is it? Is same it ahead one. of it? The same. What the heck? Oh, it's right ahead of it. What the? Here they are. 
So here's the one that uh, Mr. Section just gave us. And here's the one Mrs. Section. Right, right behind each other. So they're kind of following each other. The same they're probably same, uh, about, let's see. They're, oh, excuse me. 41 and. They're about an hour apart. So this one's about an hour ahead. But right. this is the one I like. I I like the, the blue. blue. Yeah, I want to fly. The one that. looks really cool. I like the blue turtle a nice. lot better. But I still I'd fly either one if I had the opportunity. I to. want the Pokemon Eva actually. Oh, yeah, that's my favorite of the those things. But yeah, this wow. one's cool. Wow, I'm surprised they're flying two of them at the same time within an hour of each other. They must must be super popular flights. Wow. About. Hey, Pickles is here. Welcome, Pickles. I like the blue also. I uh, I like it too. Aussie Pete says, uh, yep, they Japanese love their special liveries. Uh, yes, yeah, they do. Tons of them. All right. Um, I got it. Man, this fan's still going in here. It's cold. You can turn Let it me off. Get turn it off. And the great thing is I can do it remotely. I'm doing it on my PC right now. Oh, nice. There we you have Wi-Fi thermostats all through our throughout our facility here. That's awesome. And uh makes things nice and easy. All righty, what do we got next? Okay. Um, next, um, I don't know if I missed anybody, but I, I think we're so good. Uh, so, uh, if any, if I miss anybody, please let me know. Uh, Sue Major, um, five Yankee. Um, I think this is uh, Sierra November Lima. All righty. Ooh, Sue. And I just seen Board Monkey and MJ have a couple uh, have one in there. Okay, Sue Major has given us Astral oh, Aviation. Ooh, and this is oh my gosh, this is a seven six seven two hundred freighter, and this is based out of Kenya. And my goodness, this thing is forty one years old. Wow, and it's going from Nairobi, but it destinations not available. Let's get a closer look at this. Um, you know what? I you know what? I kind of like this livery. Yeah, I, I like. I kind of like the font. Astral makes me think like outer space yeah. and that's kind of high tech. No, this is a seven six seven two hundred six Four. seven. It's really short. I thought it was a thirty seven. No, it's a two hundred. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's why it's a two hundred. It, it's uh, wow. what did I say? It was like forty one years old. Yes. Yeah. yeah, it's a freighter, but I, I kind of like the livery. It's, it's it's all right. Mm. What do you guys think? You like it? Don't yeah, I, I like the font, the astral font. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't like the tail that much, but how about you, Sal? I like it. I like, I like, I like how it looks like a little mini one, a little short, seven <laughs> six. Yeah, yeah, the two hundred. Yep. All righty, and uh, remind me again who sent this one, Michael? Um, that was Sue Major, I think. Yeah. All right, thank you, Sue. And I, I've seen a couple more. Board Monkey has one in there. And, yeah, uh, Reiko has one first. Um, Reiko. Then... All right. Hey, Reiko. Que hubo? Que paso? All right. Let's uh, give a... Uh... Ooh. Look what I just found. The oh. Emirate S Destination Dubai livery. Oh, nice. I like this that is one. my favorite uh, um, Emirates livery. I so. saw that somewhere. I think at LAX probably. Yeah, it's going from Dubai to Port Louis, wherever that is. But let's get back to Reiko's. Sorry, Reiko. Port Louis, some island. <laughs> Reiko, Reiko. I don't know. I just, I don't. So check this out. I know his real name. I uh, won't reveal yeah. it to, just out yeah. of respect. But I just call him Reiko. <laughs> no matter what, I just say, hey, Reiko. Or I saw, hey, what's up? How's Reiko? Or what's up, Reiko? Or whatever. So I don't even, you know, I don't even call him by his real name. Even if. Even if we're, uh, I, think I forgot it at this point to be honest. Chatting, but, uh, chatting I didn't know it at one point. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll, uh, we'll remind you later, Michael. So what? I do the same thing. Like I call everybody their their YouTube names. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you know, Reiko personally, he's been a friend of yours for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> and you still call him Reiko. <laughs> yeah, but, but like, still like cats meow. I know her. Like you said, I know her name, but I still kind of call her cats. <laughs> yep. Well, yeah. I know Lady Cat's real name, and I still call her Lady Cat, and a few yeah. of them call like by their girl. real name. I think yeah. that I think the internet nicknames are cool, and they. And yeah. I, I usually, I usually stick with them. Yep. And all that's, right. So. That's kind of how we all know each other. Let's say a quick hello to Gary Suha. Good hello. to see you, friend. Glad you are here with us. We're doing a little flight tracking right now. Uh, if you'd like to join in, uh, you know, give us a flight number or a plane reg, and we'd be glad to see where in the world it is at. All right, let's go with Reiko's flight. Um, we got Juliet Lima 5. Ooh, JL5. Japan? What? Oh, JL. Japan Airlines. JL. Ooh, Reiko, Reiko, Reiko. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, so this is uh, one of their new A350 oh. 1000s. Wow, nice. Going from JFK, New York to Tokyo, Haneda. And where is it right now? Oh, it's on the polar route. And Oh, it's over Alaska. Dude, that's a crazy route. Look at that. Let's see that. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, so nice. uh, let's get a look at this livery because wow. this is a plane far. was just delivered a few months back. So this is the what they call the red livery with the A350-1000 Airbus title on it. And um, mm -hmm. I remember, uh, man, it was probably last year sometime, uh, Michael and Sal and myself, we were, I think we we're all on maybe Sola Channel. Yeah. Or Sola. one of the yes. um, channels. That, um, and this was um, before they got their A350-1000s, just that A350s yeah. they were using domestically. And mm -hmm. we were saying how much we all liked the JAL A350 is just the way they looked. They're and, nice. Uh, Super and nice. Sal, you mentioned the red uh, winglets too. Yeah, the winglets. Yep. But um, Korean is doing in blue. So, it, but red is more noticeable than the blue. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. 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 And um, Lady Cat, I bet you like these winglets. <laughs> uh. Yep. But yeah, this is a cool plane. I mean, dang. I, you know, in the JAL, you know, logo <laughs> on the rudder. Pretty very there. nice very nice thank you reiko appreciate all right. it all right what do we got next right, we'll do uh uh gary since he just got in here uh, all right gary a a n a 215 two a n a 215 this is a uh, all in the pone oh oh, star wars one. oh we got some star wars action oh, going from tokyo. Uh, let's see it's going from tokyo haneda to paris nice. charles de gaulle and this is a Star Wars livery. And which one? Which Star Wars livery is it? It is. Hi, Lisa Wesley. Uh, R two D two. Mm -hmm. I like that Ooh, one. Look at that. I've seen mm -hmm. that at LAX like once, I think. Uh, and this yeah. photo was taken at LAX. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's, it looks like it's from a No Hospitality Hotel. Probably. Probably. Yeah. Most likely. Yeah. Yeah. No Hospitality Hotel. Probably. Yeah, it's way, up, it's way up there. Yeah. Yeah. But um, I, I like the ANA Star Wars liveries. They're really cool. It's just a bummer they took it off the 777. I know. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. But, but at least they probably didn't put it in this one. A lot of airlines just take a, take away the special liveries and they don't make it back. Yeah, that's yeah. true. At least got to give them credit for at least putting it on their uh, Dreamliners. Yes. So, yep, definitely. All righty. Thank you for that one. And uh, we'll say hello to Lisa Wesley. Hello and good evening. Good morning. Good afternoon, wherever in the world you may be watching from. We are glad to have you with us. All right. We're doing some plane tracking for those of you who just may come in. And, uh, yeah, we do a little live plane tracking. Give us a, a plane reg or a flight number in the chat, and we will see where in the world it is at. Ooh, that rhymed. Woo, I'm on a roll tonight. You know what I forgot to say when we did uh, when we started plane tracking? Get your favorite drink, get your favorite snack, because it's time to plane track or flight track, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Cool. All right. What do we got next? Next, we got uh, Greg's, I think, second one. Uh, All right. Greg Hybers. Yeah. Got a Victor. Um, is this, oh. Victor Oscar um, Echo 9253. Five, three. All right, let's see what Greg's got for us. What is this? All right, this might be a new one to us. This is Volotea out of Spain. How, I how would we pronounce it, Sal? Volotea. What is it? Volotea? That's a project, yeah, that's, I think. Volotea means it's kind of, it has to be like flight, like when a, when a bird starts to fly kind of thing. Okay. That's what it means, Volotea. Okay. Oh, okay. All, right. All right. So this is an A320, and this airline is based out of um, Spain. Mm. Uh, give me your thoughts, guys. Uh, Sal first on this livery. Reminds me of um, my kitchen table that my mom used to have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like a kitchen table, uh, kitchen table yeah. like a uh, placemat. Kind of thing? Yeah, the placemat. Yeah. Oh, man. I was just going to say the same thing. Oh, <laughs> my God. It reminds my me of that. Michael, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know. I thought, I thought it was Greek at first, to be honest, because, like, the lettering on the front, 
I was like, uh -huh. what is the A? The A is not like a full A. It's a Lambda in Greek. So I'm like, is that a Greek oh, airline? I'm like, wait, yeah. it's Spanish. Like, confused me. Yeah. Nice cap. So I'm like, oh, I thought it was a Greek airline. I'm like, but Aegean's the only Greek one. So, so yeah. confused. And then I find out that it's Spanish and it's probably mm. a budget airline, I'm assuming. Because they have probably. a of budget airlines. <laughs> Why Spain do you assume it's a budget? Why do you um, assume because, the, because um, <laughs> I, Iberia is the only one that's not budget because I've flown when I was in. Uh, when I was in Sevilla, I flew to Barcelona on Vueling, <laughs> which is one of the budget ones. And this uh -huh. is probably another one that's like Vueling, most likely. Okay. Check out what Greg said, air tablecloth. <laughs> oh, yeah. I agree. Yeah, and I don't, and I don't you like, like a, the uh, I don't like delivery. Yeah, this this reminds you of a tablecloth. You take like a plastic one, like for a picnic table. <laughs> if it was a Scottish plane, that'd be cool because like the, the back reminds me of a kilt. So like that'd be like, all right. There we go. Catch me out. Picnic table. You got it. Exactly. Yeah. There you go. But, man, this is, a, this is a new one for us. So, yeah, we might yeah. joke about planes and right. liveries, but. Well, next time I go to Spain, I'm going to go on that and I'll let you know how it is. All right. Check it out. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you for that one, Greg. And uh, what do we got next? Um, we got a new person. I don't know if this is Leighton NZAU. Is that a new person? Uh, yeah. Hey, welcome, Layton. Yeah. We're uh, glad welcome. to have you with us right. this evening. Well, um, new people got to skip the line. Sorry, everybody else, but um, yeah. because of the first time. So yeah, I got Alpha Bravo Delta three nine zero. All right, and I have that up on the screen there. Uh, what is this? Air Atlantic Iceland. Let me take. The, all right, let's see. What we got here. Ooh. What is all that? right. This is a seven four seven freighter. Yeah. Yeah. This is Magma Aviation. Operated by Air Atlanta Icelandic, and it's going from Hong Kong to not available. And um, looks like it's flying, going to fly over Vietnam and Cambodia, but we really don't know exactly where it's going. Layton, but, are you um, from New Zealand? Zealand? No. One second. Layton, are you from New Zealand? Because the NZ, I don't know, New Zealand, Australia. So you're from one of those, probably. I'm just curious. So here's the uh, here's the livery. The first thing I think of is an orange. Like the piece ah, of fruit, cool, or, yeah. orange. I just it's had an orange right. before the show, and it was really good. It was nice and cold. <laughs> Air Atlanta or something? It's operated by Air Atlanta Icelandic. Iceland, okay. Is that Iceland? Never mind. I it's also available in the other in the other app. Oh, oh it's not. Oh, all right. It's actually not available. It's going to the famous. Oh, wow, not available. Oh, destination, where? You know? Oh, no destination. Wow. Yeah, not available. Huh. Well, Leighton, thank you so much for this one, and welcome to the show, Board Monkey. Yep, we skipped. Um, if we have, um, yeah, Board Monkey. Uh, Sorry, if we have a new viewer. Uh, we want to welcome them and yeah, give them. them we give them one. one. Um, but we'll, we'll get to yours and everybody else's. Uh, Mike, you're, you're, in great line. you're in line for your second one. Um, yeah, I was about to do it, Board Monkey. All uh, right, got, all right, let's roll. Um, Alpha Six Dash Echo Echo Uniform, and this is Board Monkeys. Yeah. Second all right. One. Oh, here we go. Oh, this Ooh. is the one we saw earlier. Yeah, we saw that one already. Yes, I oh. like this. This is my favorite Emirates oh, that was, livery. That's a different destination, though. There's two of them. Because well, the other one's going to Port Louis or whatever, right? Oh, that's right. So they yeah. have multiple? Two of those, I guess, yeah. Oh, oh. wow. Oh, wait. This one says something different on it. This one says, be part of the magic. Be part of the magic. See you. See you all. See you there fly better wow this one is different that's right oh uh -huh. my goodness but i love the colors just the blues and yeah, the oranges that's and the that's actually probably my favorite on emirates to be honest this oh, is my favorite the, one. what was it the x there's another expo one uh it's not as colorful but 2020 or 2016 or something something um, like that i think it's we just had a little bit ago um, I yeah, that one's on cool. the other expo one is cool too, but this is actually the best Emirates, I think. Uh -huh. I like them both, I just really love mm -hmm. the colors. And so, this one's going from uh, Washington Dulles to Dubai, and it's got a little yeah, over three hours to go. And let's see what's behind it. So, whenever Pretty we good. there's another one behind it, yeah, it's going to Dubai too, probably. And yeah. that one's just the normal livery, as I guess you could say, the normal livery. They're on the same track. Look, they're all going to Dubai. Yeah, this all one's Dubai. from JFK, New York to Dubai. They all fly south of Cyprus. There. Yep. Here's another one that's closer. Uh, Emirates uh, 20 from Manchester to Dubai. How many How many 380s do they have? Like, they have a, like 123 oh, or something. Oh, my like that. God, dude. That's insane. 
They have the biggest A380 fleet no, in the world. They're not retiring them, clearly. They're going to They're not retiring them anytime soon. And they do, yeah. it seems like they do really well with their 380s as far as getting. How many other uh, Middle Eastern airlines are retiring them, though? Right? Is it Etihad or Qatar? One of those two. Right? <sighs> 380, I, think. I am someone, not. Sure. Someone, I know that some airlines are starting to retire them, though. Yeah, we we talked about that on the last show, like well, Air France. China Southern, well, they used to come to LAX for a minute. And yeah, we're now. China Southern Air France has retired. Well, yeah, because I was blue and I like blue. Yeah, I remember we talked about this on the last show a couple of weeks ago. Oh, Air France too. Well, I didn't. Yeah, LAX, somebody so. told me they're starting to scrap. I think it was Aussie Pete or MJ. Somebody said in the last show that they were starting to scrap a cup, one or two. And America said 123 380s. Yeah, that's that's insane. Yep. Yep. All right, thank you for that one. Let's go to the next uh, request. Let's see here. Um, I missed. I know random aircraft in the middle home. Oh, Alvinor just came in. Okay, Better. yeah. If Alvinor has one. We can uh, go with Alvinor. What's up, Alvinor? Glad you're here. I'm going out of order here because people are popping in. But um, hold yep. on. One. Um, it's going to be a Russian one. It's uh, <laughs> TUP. TUP. Be because they're always Russian when they're TUP. Five five. Nice. After all these shows, I know not in Russian. <laughs> if, if it's Alvinor, we know it's Tupolov, Russian. Tupolov or whatever it's called. Oh, yeah. He's got us some Avia Star, Avia Star tonight. One of their 757 cargo planes. Cargo. And this is a, uh, I've always said this is an interesting livery with the orange and the. The font is really print. weird. Yeah, it's an old school font. Yeah, Greg probably likes that font. Greg's into fonts on airplanes. Greg's an air font guy. <laughs> he's, in the air, he's the air font guy. Um, <laughs> Does this one have? Yeah, see, and it's it's kind of interesting. These Russian flights always a lot. Most of them always have the departure airport, but the destinations all the time. Most of the time, never available. So yeah, this plane is uh, thirty years old, out of Russia, and uh, okay. yeah, it's over Russia right now. But we don't know where it's going. So I'm but, Jake. Correct me about what you're saying to um to um. The lady cat right now about um, when the planes are in the middle of the ocean, they just they hit like transponder points, right? Like every so often they they cross over transponder points if they don't if they only have reception by satellite to just follow a similar track. That's what she was asking. This oh, interesting, an interesting point. Okay, uh, she was asking so MJ would know. Ah, uh, yeah, because they don't have ATC out there in the middle, like Pacific or whatever, depending how close you are, or any yeah, some of the ocean, yeah, Atlantic or whatever. Yeah. Yep. All right, thank you, Alvin. We're glad you're here. And what do we got next? Okay, I'm like, I'm hold on. What, You're bouncing we do, around. Did we do okay. board monkey? We did board monkey. Okay. Yeah. So, yep. We We're kind of bouncing monkey. around. We did Alvin. So be... okay. I have breaking news. Oh, let's hear oh, some. Here we go. Oh, like 15 minutes ago from KORN. Oh, Horn? Says the oh, Oakland board commissioners voted Thursday to move forward with the name change to the Oakland International, the Oakland Airport. Oh, no. The no. Bay, San Francisco Bay, Oakland International oh. Airport. No. Oh okay, so goodness, you know what? Dude. SFO and I think the <laughs> San Francisco, they're probably going to fight it in court. Oh, this is going to be bad. Yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah, know, but, but they're well, afraid they of... It. It's not final, but... They're yeah. afraid of a lot of confusion. So this thing isn't over yet. It's going to go to court. I, 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 it's probably <laughs> yeah. going to go to court. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. Wow. I don't know why that... I understand they want to let people know that, you know, that travel to the Bay Area, they... I know they want to let them know that it's another option in the Bay Area, but man, that's going to confuse people. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, let's take Southwest to San Francisco, and they end up in Oakland. They're gonna be like, "What the heck?" Well, <laughs> well if you end up in Oakland, it's not that far from San Francisco, you know. Just stay not really, but it's yeah, slow. but still, man, it, 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 it's it's gonna, it's, it, it's going to be an eye opener for some people. Yeah, and uh, yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm I don't know. Surprised. I am surprised. Oh my. Orlando gosh. Sanford Airport. There's a, how many are in Orlando? I've heard of Orlando Sanford. Yeah, is that a small one? Because it's yep. not the main Orlando, right? Yep. Sanford. Yep. I know it's a suburb or something. It's like saying like the L.A. like Pomona or something. It's like what? <laughs> well, like Ontario Pomona. is part of Los Angeles World Airports, which also is, yeah. LAX is part of that. But yeah, at least they still call it Ontario International. At least there's no confusion. Part of that, there. yeah, LAWA. Uh, I think Ontario mm -hmm. or probably Burbank. I don't know about Long and Island. LAX are part of it. Yeah. Um, and Van Nuys. Oh, oh that, Van Nuys. Long, Beach, right. Long Beach probably is too, right? I know Santa Ana. Um, well, not all of them. There's only like two or three airports. Actually, it might not be the Long Beach. It's too small. 
Yeah, I don't know. But I know for sure it's LAX and Ontario are part okay. of that. Random aircraft lives in the in the Inland Empire. He said Ontario's is home airport. Nice. Oh, right on, man. All right, what do we have next? Okay, um, MJ. Major Oakland definitely has a different vibe. Oh, yeah. MJ <laughs> has one that yeah. he flew. He said, for, I think he said it was from somewhere to New York. I think Memphis, I think he said. This mm -hmm. is uh, November 856 uh, Foxtrot Delta. So it's going to be a, for sure a, a FedEx. All right. So I got to okay, the screen. Oh, yeah. Okay, let me, yeah, let me put the screen share back on real quick. Sorry about that. I wanted to give Sal like full screen or <laughs> what? Why? Ron 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 gave the breaking news. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> I was just like, what? No, when you gave the breaking news. So, yes, yes. okay. See. All right. Who gave think of that, uh, when I go beep, 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 right. beep, 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 breaking news. Breaking news. <laughs> All right. Um, remind me again, Michael, who uh, requested uh, this one? This is MJ Scanlon. This MJ, is the, one okay, the other day. FedEx he flew the other day from New York to somewhere. Oh, you flew on this plane, Memphis. MJ? Memphis to New York, he said, yeah. Oh, this is the plane he flew on. Uh huh. Oh, what happened here? Okay, this one's going from Oakland to Honolulu. Yeah, so it's, what is that? It's triple seven? Yeah, yeah triple seven. It's got a little under five. Oh, it just departed Oakland like eight minutes ago. Wow. Hey, MJ, would you happen to have a video of this? And if you do, we'll get you back on the show here soon. Um, it was cool when you shared the cockpit yeah. video of that the flight you did a while back. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, that would be really cool. So Major likes the sound effects. Yeah, well, we don't have any music. <laughs> <guys>. We're going <laughs> to make sound effects. I got I to gotta do my own. Yeah, exactly. My phone is buzzing like crazy. Oh, it's it's my cameras at home. I have the cameras oh, well. outside. Cats are moving too much. <laughs> that thing uh, leaving San Francisco Bay, Oakland. Okay. Um, I random aircraft has one, and then I'll go to Alvin or after. I'm looking at my phone. MJ's email. He sent me with the new livery. Oh, I can kind of tell the difference. Yeah. Was it the, um, the one? I'm at the blank. Yeah. I'll let me. See. I'll try to get it on here at the end of the okay. show if we sure. if we can. Um, so if not, uh, MJ, if you don't mind, if I could post it on the community page after the show, if I can't get it on live. Okay. All right, MJ. Uh, so yeah, so, I'd love to see. I think uh, you were sharing a cockpit video with Horison the other day, and oh. um, I'd love to see it again. Uh, I only caught bits and pieces of it, so but it would be cool to interview you, have you share uh, yeah. share about that trip. Awesome, thank you, MJ. And what what's next in line, Michael? Uh, uh, let's see. We have uh, random aircraft. We got Julia right. Alpha 784 Alpha. I thought we did that one before, but maybe I'm going crazy. Nope, we didn't. I you guys notice we have no music tonight uh, at work. My setup's a little different. It's very simple. Oh, it's my Pokemon. That's my favorite. Oh, you were just my favorite. I just talked about that earlier. Yes. There's yeah, a this is a but there's, the EV, there's an EVA one, too. Both are so great. This though. is a uh, Alnapon, their Pokemon livery. It's going from good. Chicago. Yeah, Pokemon's a little different, but yeah. To Tokyo Narita. That's a little over five hours ago. Nice. And for Michael, we will get a closer look at this Pokemon. Right. Ooh, nice. Look at that. Nice. It's the old, the old school Pokemon on that one. Oh, oh, really? So Pokemon. does Amy have um they have two? They have newer. No, EVA has like one with newer Pokemon that I don't okay. know. Oh, the EVA has it. Old okay. Pokemon. EVA has Pokemon liveries too, yeah. Oh I wow! I sure. wow! I like the other side of the plane. They have different um, different uh, characters on the other side. Oh, let's see if we can get a picture of the other side. Let's see if anybody. It has. was not oh, Marcelo who went to Taipei, and there's here. I found a picture of the Pokemon. Here's the other side. Sal was talking. Oh yeah, go. definitely is different. Yeah, I like Pikachu because oh, it's Pi only on this side. This yeah, Pikachu's up one. front. Pikachu's in first class. Oh, dude, it's the only one I know too. <laughs> it's China Airlines, dude. I'm sorry. It's China Airlines has a Pokemon livery. I'm oh, sorry. Okay. My bad, but it's one that he saw in Taipei, I think. Yep. Coming in. But like I was uh, saying, Sal likes Pikachu, and Pikachu's got a first class seat. Pika, Pika. Yeah. First class yeah. seat. All righty. Thank you for that one. What's uh, who we got next? Right, what do we got here? Um, one second. Oh, Board Monkey had another one. Oh, we'll do Alvinor's first. Uh, yep. Uh, second. Wow, one. we got a great crowd tonight. Man, yeah, I thank awesome. everybody for being with us tonight. This, this is, is fun. Uh, I don't know how many people we got on here. Let's see. Um, the YouTube. Um, I'm seeing 33 good. guys. That's pretty good. Yeah, Thank you. That's that's really good. Thank oh, you so much. Solid. Okay, yeah. so next we got uh Alvinor's is uh uh Romeo Foxtrot 9331. Oh, Romeo Foxtrot 9331. One. 
All right. We got some more Russian action going on here. Yes, sir. All right. What do we got here? What do we got here? Can we still see it? I didn't uh I didn't mess up the screen, did I? I can see okay. it. Okay, uh, we can see it. So yeah. this is called uh E Cargo. And this is a this is a ghost plane. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah 32 year old 757 200 freighter. Is it a Thanks freighter? That. Hear how my it voice looks went? Like freighter? Yes. Looks like a freighter. Yes. It is a freighter, no, and uh Lady Cat ain't gonna like this because they ain't got no winglets on it. No, no, not so much. Oh, no yep. winglets. Ooh, no winglets and no paint <laughs> or just white. I mean it's got paint, but it's, it's white. It's, yep. Wow, where's this thing going? And of course, look at see note that the destination isn't uh yeah. listed. Moscow SVO. Yeah. There's a restaurant that's that streams from there, Sura Mevo or whatever the airport's called there. Oh, that guy's been out there like in dude, yeah, and crazy but zero and now, but yeah. Yep. He streams oh. on like Fridays at like it starts around like eleven or twelve, like midnight here. Uh -huh. Hey, Florida. earlier we were talking about um A three eighties and um Aussie Pete said Qantas first A three eighty VH. OQA returned to Sydney last last week after fourteen hundred days in storage. Wow, that's so well, but you know what? That's like that's like a happy story that uh, planes have been put back into service. So four years. Yeah, wow, that is awesome. Thanks for passing that along. That's some good news. Heck yeah! Mm -hmm. I, I know cats, cats, cats of uh, no winglets train. Lady uh -huh. Cat uh, says cats uh, me out too. Doesn't like winglets. Oh either. my goodness. Apparently. Oh, she likes winglets. Sorry. Yeah, Sorry. she said thumbs down to the no winglets. I, I honestly, I honestly, and I don't care about the winglets. I think they look nice on the three hundred and fifty, but on other planes, I could care less. Um, let's see. We board monkeys. I think this is the last one. We got uh, uniform Romeo Dash, um, Charlie Golf Victor. I think. Yeah. Hold on one second. I'm. I need to check something. Uh, no problem. Okay, never mind. I'm sorry. I'm. I got a little sidetracked here. Give me that one once again. And, and who requested it? Uh, Board Monkey. I think it's his last one. All okay. right, Board Monkey. Let's make it a good one. Uniform Romeo Dash Charlie Golf Victor. Victor. Uh, give it to me one more time. No, you have it right. Just Victor at the end. V. Victor. Oh, Victor. I put yeah, Foxtrot. Oh, maybe I was thinking Victor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there sorry you about that. What All right. That? Oh, oh, what's oh, this? What is this? Ooh. This is oh, uh, Antonov AN 12 BK. Nice. 58 I, years old. Wow. Whoa, that's a record there. Point. And it is going from JFK to Willemstad. Where's Willemstad? And Board Monkey's trying to beat Alvinor with the Russian type planes. Oh, <laughs> oh it's Ukrainian. Sorry. Whoa, that plane's making like a seven hour flight. Where? Let's. Check the route. Where's Willemstad down there, huh? We're gonna find out. Oh, it's in Curacao. Is it in Curacao? Curacao, dude. Yeah. Curacao. Curacao. Wow. Let's get a closer look at this. That's pretty cool. I never even knew this like plane existed. Is this an Antonov's type? Oh yeah. It's, an in the back. it's shaped it's a, weird, yeah. It's a it's a turboprop. Wow. Oh, okay. Dang. But man, cool 58 years old. That's crazy. I that's wild. Wow. All right. Hey, well. Thank you so much for that one. We saw something new tonight. Ozzy and, Pete, uh, you have one, dude? I know you came in late, so if you have one, let me know. Um, and uh, Brian SFO is in the house. Tell all your friends. Yes, sir. <laughs> all right. All uh, right. Line up and wait. Line up and wait. Everything uh, is line well, up we, and wait. <laughs> we got random, uh, random aircraft. I think this Alrighty. is the last one. Um, okay. Got Alpha 39-007, James Bond. <laughs> Ooh, what do we got here? Da, 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 da. I have to do the sound effects. This today. is <laughs> Australian, Australia Royal, Australian oh, Air Force. Ooh. Royal Air Force. This is a Airbus KC-30A, which is basically an A330-200. R-A-A-F, not Royal Air Force, which is British. Oh, yeah, this is Australian. Yeah, Royal Australian. Yep. R-A-A. And uh, let's take a look. This is a very simple-looking oh. plane, but you... You know, got winglets though, so we'll got winglets. Yeah, <laughs> it's a government plane, so you kind of figure government planes always a lot of them have right. simple right. liveries on them. But yeah, I think our air forces look pretty good though compared to this, at least. 
Yeah, yeah, that's true. No, but we got the plane strata yep. tankers and all that stuff. Yep. How old is this plane? Oh, 16 years old. It's not that's that not old. Bad, not too bad. For, oh, it's and a KP-130? Okay, yeah. Brisbane to destination, not available. Mm. So, uh, righty. Well, thank you for that one. We appreciate it. What, what is <laughs> uh, that? Greg Hybers. Uh, I'm just like reading the chat now. I'm tired of right, writing. Greg. I'm going to go off if it's the third one or not. So let me just I see. I think this is Greg's third. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, it is. So Greg's last one. He got, uh, what is Q? I don't really know. So it's well, QTR98P? Uh, yeah, that's that one. Uh -huh. Right. Yeah. yeah, I see it in the chat. Oh, okay. Qatar. Cutter. Cutter. <laughs> This is the Qatar 777-300ER. This is the one we're livery going oh, from nice. Seattle to Doha. And, uh, oh, my goodness, flight, 12 and a half hours. Shh. Take a look at the livery. I don't know. Nah, it's got to be longer flight than that. Well, it's, it's, like an hour, it's right? 14 hours. Oh, geez, that's long. Yeah, it's an hour and a half into its journey. Oh, yeah, so 12 hours is long enough. Man. No, so this is their one world livery. I don't know if I've ever seen this one before. Dude, I, I, I think, have I seen this one at LAX? I swear I saw it once. It, the lighting looks weird on this picture. Though. I know for sure I've never seen it in person. Oh, have you seen the One World Qatar? I swear I saw it once. I have seen the A350, not the 777. Yeah, oh. not a 777. I saw it on A350. Yeah, correct. Right. That's a 777. Yeah. All right, let's see where in the world this thing is. So it left Seattle an uh, hour and a half ago. So, oh, it's over Saskatchewan, northern Saskatchewan in Canada. All righty. And that was Greg, I believe. Thank you, Greg. That plane is probably the most powerful roll, like because the engines are ridiculous. The G nineties, like oh roll, yeah, like, it's insane how much speed they get on the roll. Yeah. Oh, I can imagine. Uh, yeah. So what's it cruising uh, at? What it's cruising at? Ground speed's like five ninety five. Let's see. I only mm -hmm. took that. I think I took that only once to Istanbul. But, uh, that okay. was a nice airline. Um. So Alvinor, we got. Um. We got. Let's see. CR uniform. Um. I think I see it right 167. there. 1647. All right. Yeah, I see it. There, yeah. Aerofloat. Oh, Aerofloat. Aerofloat. Oh, this one says the destination, but I cannot pronounce <laughs> where it departed I from. Have the last one there. I'm just going to say NJC, which we obviously in Russia. Oh, this is NJC, a yeah, Moscow. It's going to know, Moscow. It's going to Moscow. Uh, this is their A321. 195 years. Is that what it said? 95 year oh, wow. um, livery. Dude, that's old. Uh, 95 years with you livery. I've never seen this. That's how old the Aeroflot is? Wow, that's crazy. Wow. I really, really like it. That's nuts. Uh, uh, I like the orange wingtips. <laughs> that's about it. I, you, of, yeah. uh, you know those Russian dolls? Kind of like um, the tail. You know what I mean? I don't know. Like the painting? It's, I don't know. It's pretty cool. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to give this one a thumbs down. Oh man, I, 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 that's I, gotta I, be one of the oldest airlines in the world, dude. Because I looked up Olympic, the Greek airline, and it's only sixty-seven years old. This is ninety-five. Wow. I thought that'd be similar, but yeah, I mean, it's it's a definitely different and unique. I just I can't. I what can't kind of was flying in 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 nineteen thirty, dude? <laughs> like how very simplistic. Yeah, what were they? What were they that? flying back then? I know, right? DC. Alvinor says those are um, Matt. Matyoshka. I can't pronounce it, but he says Matyosh that's Matyoshka. Okay, that's what they are. Thank you, Alvin. Are there the dolls that go inside each other? Those yeah, are kind of giving cool. us a little extra 411. Oh, Lady Cat has one. TX511. Oh, cool. What were you saying that. about pickles earlier, Sal? So? Something about pickles. I forgot. Uh, I was saying, talking about my bird. Yep. Oh, the bird, yeah. yeah. It's bird, and we also have pickles in the chat. Yeah, yeah that's what I meant because pickles are. <laughs> yeah, because pickles is here. I I got to meet pickles a uh, while back at SFO when I was out there with Sal. It was a uh, very very nice meeting you pickles. All right, you're you're doing that yourself. All right, I don't know. So I, I saw it. Yeah, we're we're slowing down here towards the end. So this is Lady Cats and uh, this is a TX five eleven. Oh, Air Caribas. I hope I pronounced that right. Caribas. Caribas, yes. Yeah, Fort de France to Paris. Fort de France, France, an islander. Yeah, so this is their A350. Oh, this is A350-1000. So let's check out their route. You guys can't tell I'm a geography nerd, too. So, so this came <laughs> from um, um, yeah. Martinique. Okay, Martinique. Out in the Caribbean, and it's headed to Paris. That's a far uh, flight, man. 
Yeah, it's a seven and a half hours, maybe. Oh, okay. Not too bad. And it's right out in the middle of the Atlantic. Wow. It's using high frequency. Yeah, I want to get a look at the um live Aero right here. turned a hundred Alvinor. Wow. In Ooh. July last year. Holy so God. here's uh Air Caribis livery. I, it's all right. I kind of like it. What do you what do you guys think of this livery? I, I that's the one that comes to LAX every here and there for instead yeah. of uh French B, right? Yeah. I well, like it. Once in a while, yes. I, I think it's cool. It's got blue on it, so it's so, sold me. Yeah. Already. Yeah, I like it. I like well, it. I like it a lot. Speaking yeah. of French B, uh, early in the mornings, like when I wake up at three, four o'clock, which is before my wake up time, um, oh, I watch awesome. a news channel. And lately, they've been at that time in the morning, been running um, French B commercials. And oh, uh, like, really? oh wow, French B commercials is pretty good, pretty cool commercial. Um, ain't no fast food commercials anymore. Too expensive. <laughs> what's that? I said, ain't no fast food commercials anymore. It's unaffordable. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, um, but they always they have a uh, French beat commercials early yeah. in the morning on the I'm uh, getting it, it, watch, yeah. budget, so I, was, I was making the joke. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Lady Cat, thank you so much. Whoa, why did this thing zoom in like that? Eesh. Um, all ooh. right, AAL 224 arrives in 16 minutes. What is that? Okay, what is it? AAL what 2324 random aircraft set is that going to Ontario or LA? Three, two, two, three, two, three, two, four. Two, three, two, four. Oh, there we go. Oh, this is going yeah, from uh, Tampa to DF. Oh, oh it's special livery. Nice. Which special livery is Air Cow? Oh, all right. We saw Air that, Cal. remember? Yes. We saw that in SFO, I think, right? Air Cow. When we were all I together. Think that we one. have. Uh, we it was. All together or was it the other uh, one? Last summer, yeah. When we were there in yeah, July. We saw Air Cow that day. Yes. Air Cow. Yep. It's cool. And speaking of Air Cow, um, I'll have a little announcement at the end of the show. That's related to Eric Cal. But yeah, uh, man, I'm like I said, I remember being a kid at SJC San Jose Airport. Uh, times I went there as a kid, seeing Eric Cal there. I always remember Eric Cal. All right. Thank you for that one so much. It's about to land at DFW. All right. We got anything else? Um, um, I don't. Michael or Sal? I know I have one. Oh, I, I have a list, dude. Yeah, let me go off my list. So, so in the meantime, I have. Uh, um, I want to know where. Okay, I got one. Yeah. Southwest Freedom One's at. You know me; I always want to know where it's at. The usual, yeah. Uh, right now, it's going from Orlando to San Juan, Puerto Rico. But now, here's the thing: we always uh, do. We always like to see where has it been lately. So, we're going to see that because oh, yeah. for a while it had been coming to the West Coast. Dude, dude, if it comes to Long Beach again. <laughs> so let's see. It is due. Better come to Long Beach. Las Vegas. Start. Buffalo. Okay, that's it. It looks like it's primarily been on the East Coast a lot lately. LAX down uh, there. Was that LAX and Phoenix on yesterday? Oh, yesterday. Man, was there the LAX yesterday. Oh, my gosh. It was at San Jose yesterday morning. Oh, no. That's rare. It overnighted, and then it departed yesterday morning. Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, man. To LAX, huh? <laughs> that would have been... Well, Tuesday night, I wouldn't have been able to see it. I was working. but so Oh, it was at Long, Long Beach. Beach. Here and there, so. It was at Long Beach, too. It, so it was on the West Coast. The day to Long Beach. Yeah, it was on the West Coast for okay. a few days, and now it's been on the East Coast. Wow. And it was at Long Beach on Tuesday. It was at Oakland on Tuesday. Las Vegas, oh, Reno. Okay. Someone new here in the chat here. Wow. STGO. Welcome. 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 Mm. Good to have you here. He has one, I guess. Uh, yeah, so let's go for it. Next, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, Delta Whiskey, India, 269. Welcome, Type. Type. I'm just going to call you Type, if that's okay. Type R, whatever. <laughs> well, we're glad to have you here. All right. Oh, this is uh, Ar Arajet? Uh, that's the one from Dominican, right? We saw that one yeah. time. Yeah. The other time, I think. Yeah, yeah we Dominican. seen this for a while back, but... Yeah, it was a Dominican. This was the uh, Max Eight going from Santo Domingo to Sao Paulo. That's that. That's that. Like seven hour Max Eight flight. Yeah, right? that's that long Max Eight flight. flight. Yeah. This one, no, this one's about. Uh, yeah, it's almost seven hours. Jeez, that's long. Yeah, I remember we were talking about like, wow, that is long for Max this Eight. The one. That's the same. The same flight, I think. Yeah, it must be a little lighter load and Max fuel or a lot yeah, of fuel. Yeah, that's crazy. But um. 
I remember we talked about the livery. I kind of liked it. We were trying to figure out what that was on the rudder. I remember we were trying to figure it out. For you winglets people, do you prefer the, uh, what is it called? The scimitar winglets? These like are the uh, scimitar? Scimitar, scimitar, whatever scimitar, they're called. Scimitar. Do you guys scimitar. prefer these or do you prefer the traditional or raked winglets? I know I prefer the scimitar because I think they look cool. <laughs> these, these are pretty cool too, dude. I saw on the Max when I flew the Southwest Max. It was cool to see that. It kind of looks interesting. So yeah. by the, by the okay. Well, uh, welcome there, Audrea. She says, uh, Audrea says it's a parrot. A parrot. Oh, ah, okay. A talking parrot. We were talking about this earlier in the show. If Michael had a parrot, he'd probably be teaching it bad words. <laughs> <laughs> number one, number three. And then um, <laughs> Sal said he had what? Not a parrot. What was the type of uh, bird Sal said he had that just oh, screamed yeah, yeah. all the time? I don't know. So and often. the bird's name was Pickles, and he said the bird just screamed all the time. Or was that send, send something, see something? I don't remember. The oh, yeah, maybe he'll tell us when he comes back. Skimmies. Uh, right yeah, I think that lady cat likes the skimmies, huh? Uh, I like, I like the scimitars. I call them scimitars. The scimitars, like a, it's like a sword thing. That's like Yeah, I like them. They look cooler. Oh, let's, yeah, uh, she calls them one here, uh, Oh, hey, hi, uh, Adria. Sorry, yeah, Adria's Adria's here. Not. Good to see you. Adria Oops. or Adria, sorry. Yep. Yep, uh, yep, right here. There one. we go. Good to have you with us here. And um, let me see, make sure we're not missing anybody. I want to make sure we say hello to everybody that's here the best yeah. we can. We always... just said the Freedom One yep. is one of the best, not just because of the American flag, but the 3D look, and I agree with that. Mm -hmm. And then we said hello to Type R earlier. Thank you for being here once again. We appreciate well, it. Aircraft has another one, too. For All right, yeah, sure. Um, after that, I'm going to put one of mine. I yep. have a Quantum yep. special delivery. So All right, so uh, we'll think this has the last one from the chat, okay. and then we'll last finish off with Michael, Sal, and okay. myself. Um, so random um, aircraft. So Charlie Dash, uh, Golf Whiskey, uh, Sierra Zulu. Okay, we got some WestJet action uh, going Palm here. Palm Springs, local one. Ooh, Palm Springs. Ooh. Oh, what is this? Ooh. Oh, it's the Disney one. Oh, this is the oh the, the Disney oh, World the Mickey, Mickey Mouse. Mouse. I oh, like that Mickey one. Mouse going from Palm That's Springs. Nice to Palm Springs. Oh, nice to Vancouver. Oh, I didn't All know right. that flew to Palm Springs. Okay. I'm definitely giving this one two thumbs up. This livery. This a, yeah, I give it four thumbs up. Heck sure. yeah, MJ. Uh, see you later, Prince. Dude, that is the coolest. Have that a good night, MJ. Thank you. Uh, I'll be talking to you later about uh, yeah. getting you on the show. Yeah, this is uh this Disney World livery is definitely top notch. Hi, Poof. How's it going? Do you uh, approve, Sal, of this? Livery? I approve. West is this, it, this is probably, and we always do nice liveries. Okay, mm -hmm. this is probably one of the coolest liveries like of any blue plane. I like that. I like how it matches the background too. That's that yeah. picture is just amazing. Yeah, yeah. WestJet Credit, and um, WestJet Alaska probably have the best Disney liveries. Yep. Now I think it was a year or two ago. Uh, Southwest had a Disney livery. I did not like it. Don't forget that I have the Alaska Pixar one. You want to see it right now? I have the no red ready. <laughs> no. The Pixar Pier one, but I was gonna I'm do kidding. Qantas. So you you could do it when it's your turn. I'm just messing with you. Yeah. This no, no, I, I want to do the Qantas, this weird Qantas one, though. All right. Okay. Thank you so much for this. Uh, People know weekend. the Alaska, the Disneyland Pixar Pier. The, the, oh, the, right. the Toontown. Everyone's no, it's a yeah. I think it's that one. I'm not well, sure. Alaska has a Toontown, and it looks well, busy. Pixar I don't know. I don't know if this is the right one. Hold on. Yeah. One second. All right. So. We're I'll going to the, um, contest, though. I'm, I'm looking at hold on real quick. Let's let Aussie Pete give put oh, one in. I, okay, yeah. yeah, sounds good. Yeah, go ahead, Aussie Pete. Yeah, we'll take, okay, we'll take so one. From you. The one I'm looking at is uh, the Alaska with the uh, it says Pixar Pier on the back, it's a light blue. Uh, it has a Toy Story on stuff on the back, basically. Do you have the you have the Reg? I do, but I want to give the I think the Qantas one looks cooler. Let me look at both of them and I'll pick one. All right, we're gonna wait for Aussie Pete to put his in. Yeah. Sal, do you have one? I'm just looking at mm, no, uh, I'm I'm okay. Okay, okay. I'm just looking okay. at which one I'm decide if I want the the quantity. Okay. In the meantime, Aussie Pete has given us his. And real quick okay, before go we uh, go to Aussie Pete, let's say good evening to the sheriff. The so sheriff has know. arrived, so everybody be on your best behavior, because if not, him and Lady Cat will lay down the law. <laughs> and, <laughs> but nice. uh, welcome, sheriff. We're going. Oh, forgot to say good evening to Poof. Poof, be gone oh, now. Course. Thank you so much for being here this evening. This All right. So, the um, let's see. Let me find Aussie Pete. Aussie Pete had his. Where did it go? Either of these ones that I have are in the QFA air. QFA 512. So we're going to go with uh, Aussie Pete had QFA 512. Oh, well, he's going to do Qantas too? Okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll, yeah, let him, yeah, we'll let him have one before we get to yours. Uh, mine's going to be Qantas. Ooh, this is, uh, 
the 1959 retro livery for Qantas. Oh, that's oh, cool. okay. Now that, that is cool. Nice. That gets two thumbs up. And if I yes, had three, sir. I'd give three thumbs up, but that I only have two. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. You know what? This reminds me um, of John Travolta has the, I don't know if he still has the 707, but it had this retro livery on it. John Travolta, the actor, you know, he's a, he's a, he's a licensed pilot. Yeah. And he had a, a Boeing 707 that had this retro livery Qantas. So, yeah. Yep. But I definitely like this. And where's this? Is this plane flying from Sydney to Brisbane, which is a little over an hour flight? It's almost there. So, yeah. Thank you so much, Aussie Pete. That was a nice one. And, All right. Um, we'll stay on the Qantas we'll, we'll, since we did the Qantas. Uh, this one's not in the air, but just take a look at the picture. Sure, sure. Um, it is. Uh, let's see. Hold on. It is uh, Victor, Victor Hotel dash X ray uh, Zulu Juliet. All right. And I can't pronounce that. Good luck pronouncing the delivery. So this M is something. A, M something livery. <laughs> uh, I am getting Qantas. Yeah, it's Qantas. Oh, it is a Qantas. It's a oh. special livery, Qantas. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was a, oh, oh, it is in the air. It is live. It's going from Sydney to Christchurch, New Zealand. Yeah, Menda something. I can't pronounce that. Yeah. Uh, oh, the livery? Yeah, I can't pronounce it. Uh, I can't pronounce it either, but let's take a look. Menda something. <laughs> that is an, cool that livery, or is it the photo? I don't know. Is this an older photo? No. No, that that's, the, that's messes the right with photo. My eyes. That's the right photo. Yeah. So all the jagged edges? Yeah, I'm not sure what, what all that is about. But, yeah. Is it supposed to be eyes? No, no. I'm saying it messes with my eyes. Oh, like, I, oh I, jagged, I didn't even notice that when I first saw the picture. Okay. All the jagged edges, it makes yeah. it makes it look like pixelated, messes with my eyes. It's just it was a weird one, so I, I wrote it yeah, down. Yeah, that's an oh, interesting. I, I, yeah. one, I don't know. I was just looking at around. I think off, and I think I saw it on the stream or something. Yeah, uh, um, I don't know. It, it got it, winglets though, so it's different. <laughs> it's different. I'll say that it's, it's different. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> we can do the Pixar Pier one too, which looks a little nicer than this. Yep. I don't know. They get this this with me. One up, one down. <laughs> this one is just an obscure, with, with it's an obscure one that I thought yeah. I thought it was right. yeah. I, I, I thought it was interesting because I've never seen anything like it because it's like the jagged thing. Yeah, I thought the back the back was kind of weird too. But. It's definitely different. All right. Sal, do you have uh, any any others that you want to check uh, out? No, I'm good. Like I'll let, I'll let uh, the chatters choose. Did somebody have this? Yeah, have I one? think uh I think everybody's pretty much done in the chat. Everybody's it looks like they're oh, having a good time in the chat. Are dilated, man. Yeah, that's um, never, never fun. Oh, sheriff, yeah, just take it easy. I sheriff. used to dilate people's eyes for like. Sheriff said he got up months. super early for the Falcon Nine launch from Vandenberg. Oh, wait, today. oh, you missed it. Oh man, what a bummer. Oh, he told me about it, but I I I didn't wake up on time. Nah, what time was it supposed to be? Seven twenty-five in the morning. Uh, okay. That's early. All right, we'll take one more from Random and um. All right. Uh, let's see, N six six one QX. Oh, Alaska, mighty E one seventy five. Go Cougs! This one's going from Boise to Seattle. A little short. Oh, Cougs, Cougs, Cougs is a right university, right? Washington, Washington State. State. I wonder if. Uh, I wonder if. Uh, yeah, that that's a that's a cool livery. I give it. That's two red. Oh, that's pretty. That's different for Alaska. I wonder if uh, Captain Lyle's flown this plane. That's an interesting one. Huh? Yep. I wonder if he's flown this one, but I like this livery. Oh, that's, that's a cool good. livery. I yeah. like it. And if I had three thumbs, I'd give it three thumbs up. <laughs> you guys like it? Oh, yep. Word. Okay. We're getting I, a nod from Sam. I like it. All right. All right. right on. One last one for me, the, the Pixar. Yep. Beer yep. Okay. One last one from my last one. So it's, I don't think it's in, it's not in the air right now, but, uh, uh well what 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 is today? Hold on, let me see if it's in the air. Oh, it in is actually in there. In the meantime, it is in the air. I take that back. Here is um. Remember earlier when we first started, um, Emirates A three eighty was departing SFO. Yes. Now it's it's over Washington State. Yep. So it's already an hour into. Well, we've been tracking flights for over an hour. Sweet. Uh, All right. Go ahead, Michael. <laughs> All right. So uh, the Alaska, the, uh, the Alaska, Alaska. Alaska. Alaska, the Disneyland, the the Pixar Pier, which is uh, the yep. uh, California Adventure or whatever. Uh, mm -hmm. So it's on uh, November five three seven Alpha Sierra. 
In the meantime, South, if you can get me the That's red for um, California one Southwest. I don't yeah. know the red. I want to. Whoa, this plane's not too far from the Go Cougs. This one's going from yeah, Seattle to Salt Lake City. Yes, sir. 12 years old. This one's yep. not I love new. the. Um, that's a, bad angle. that's a bad angle picture, dude. I yeah, have we'll a get another one. Here we go, right here. There you go. Yeah, there you go. I love Alaska's uh, Disney liveries. They're just. This one's pretty cool, man. I, I, uh, this uh, one, yeah, this, personally. This one's two thumbs. And if I had. I, I, five, sorry, five, but I like the Star Wars better, though. Like, that's. Like the Star Wars Alaska one, this is probably one of my favorites. I, I've always loved their Disney ones. This so one's cool, I, though. This is old school. I think I told the story about 20 years ago. One of the first Alaska um, Disney liveries, I chased that plane for over a year to get a photo of it. And, he, you know, like I said, you know, old school spot plane spotters back then, we didn't have flight radar or radar box, any of that. We yep. didn't know what's coming in. When we went to the airport, what came yeah. in, what came Stay in, and we that. were, you know, we just, Hey, we had no idea, and I finally got it at San Jose after. Yeah, a year. this this one does come to LAX. I've seen it before. Uh, yeah. Down, yeah, yeah. Now that's definitely a cool livery. I like it. Oh, pickles! Be careful, pickles. Uh, I, snake, snake, snake in my boot. It's a, it's a Toy Story reference from. Oh, from, from, I was like, what he says? What he says? Oh, there's a snake in my boot. Oh, I was like, what the heck? Yeah, no, 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 not for oh, <laughs> you're like, oh, no. oh my god. Yep. One more from me, um, Sal. Do you know the reg for California one? Yes, Opposite. November eight six five three alpha, and we're gonna close out plane track flight tracking yeah. with this. Uh, both Sal and I like this livery. This one is going That's from uh, Denver to Indianapolis. Um, it, yeah, it doesn't have its. Uh, does it have a transponder on yet? No. Yeah, it does. It, it Denver, does, yes. Mile high mile high that's all i'm gonna say um yeah i i love california one and this is the new california one the the yeah dash 800 i missed this it, at long mm -hmm. like last week dude and it has the scimitars so um i I'm wonder how many more um you know they're converting all their you know all their special liveries have been on you know 700s and they're starting to switch them over to the 800s and I've mentioned this before. I don't understand why they're not putting any of the special liveries on their Max 8s. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, the Max 8s are going to be around longer. I just, I don't know. I don't get it. Unless but, they plan to keep the 800s for a while. Yeah, because they have an order for Max 7s, but we all know what's going to happen there. Those things are going <laughs> to take forever. Max, no, Max nothing is going on anymore. Yeah. So I'm not fine with, on it. Those. The only thing Southwest is going to get are their Max 8s. They'll still get their Max 8s from Boeing, but the Max 7s are so behind. So, yeah. Nah, all right. I I think, on that again. All right. <laughs> well, that's going to do it for flight tracking. And all wow, a right. lot of, lot of good submissions tonight. Sure. Thank you guys, everybody, so much. Uh, poof be gone. <laughs> or, um, yeah. We should vote on the best one, dude. Like for almost each show. like Kelly Plane's logo <laughs> for the future shows. We should vote oh. on like someone vote for like their favorite like plane, and then tell you. Yeah, that. yeah. We're um, matter of fact, we've been talking about some new segments for the show. Yeah. Michael gave me an idea. We won't uh, reveal that. I think Sal and Lady Cat. They, I think they've given me ideas too. There's, yeah, there's new, new stuff. Um, stuff that just under consideration. We want to. Uh, I want to make this show fun. I don't want it to be boring. Uh, but what I but here's the best part that I love about the show is the interaction with everybody. You know, that's why um, we do the flight tracking because uh, I want to get everybody you know that's viewing or in the chat involved in the show, be a part of the show, yeah. be interactive, yeah. just not sitting watching, but being a part of it. And you Sheriff's know, comment, and um, you know, that's uh, everybody seems to love the flight tracking. So. And I, I, I really enjoy this part too. So, yeah. But um, I had mentioned earlier, I had some news regarding AirCal. Uh, yeah. Our next show, we're not going to have a show next week. Right now, we're going to do only two shows in April, just work schedule, family schedule. Our next show is going to be two weeks from on April 25th. And speaking of AirCal, we're going to have Captain Paul back with us. All right. I spoke yeah. with him a week ago. Yeah. And he said, oh, I'm sorry, I'm hitting my mic. I'm trying to clap because I'm I'm happy. 
talk to Captain Paul. He's like, hey, I've got more. He's like, he's like, man, I got more stuff I can share. I was like, you want to be on the show again? He's like, let's book it. So I said, That's all right, last it. Thursday yeah. of April. So our next show in two weeks, we're going to have Captain Paul back. He's going to yeah. share some more stories. And uh, I'm going to, you know, have him share that one. Oh, the one story was awesome. Yeah, that, that was, that was crazy. Yeah, yeah that was yeah. crazy. Oh, if yeah. you guys want to know what it is, you're going to have to tune in in two weeks. If you yeah. were last time, <laughs> yeah. if you are wondering, if you didn't see Captain Paul the first time wondering what the heck are they talking about, <laughs> two weeks from tonight, and I'll have him share that story again. It is so hilarious. I like that one. So, yeah, but uh, man, I had a great time tonight. Uh, feel good tonight. Uh, apologized last show a couple weeks ago. I was feeling a little under the weather, and we had to end early, but tonight I felt really good. A lot of energy and... Uh-huh. Um, just a good time with, uh, Sal and Michael and everybody in the chat and wow. Yeah. So, um, good show guys, guys and gals. Yeah. And, um, I know everybody, you know, that's here always, you know, says they have a great time and, uh, I have a great time too. This is always, always a good time. So we're going to call it a night, but I'd like to thank Sal and Michael for co-hosting and lady cat uh being our uh awesome chat moderator and yeah we're gonna be back in two weeks on thursday right. april 25th at 5 p.m pacific okay. and actually we're gonna be broadcasting right here in my work office with right. captain paul so i have captain yeah. paul back with us so all right oh, well, everybody good all right yeah. as i always say adios and sayonara and we are out of here sayonara. peace bon voyage